Welcome everyone to exercise number 12a in, yeah, let me say it like this, um, maybe you have asked yourself how to create some kind of a zone around your points or how to determine a special distance around your points or around uh, poly, line, poly lines and in this exercise number 12a we will concentrate on answering this question how to create a buffer zone uh, in this example here, we are still confronted with the problem that uh, some company would like to harvest some trees here in this polygonal area. But they have to keep in mind that there is a special distance around these nests located here and also around the streams where they are not allowed to cut some trees. And therefore, we will go to, or we will go and create new features which will represent these forbidden zones. And in the end, uh, we will come up with an area where they can harvest the trees. So, what we will need, therefore, is something like uh, a buffer tool. You can try to find it here on geoprocessing, but there's also the possibility to go over the toolbox using the analysis tools, analysis tools, then this is something like a proximity analysis and you will find the buffer tool there as well. Uh, there are some other things here um, available, so, but we will stick with the buffer tool. We'll start with uh, creating a buffer zone around the bird's nest, which uh, will cover an area of about 800 meters. So. Um, the input feature for this uh, exercise is quite easy to see. This nests F, which has been the result of some, um, I think, extraction method we have, or I've presented in, I think, the last or the la the video before the last one, and um, yeah. So this is the result from the last uh, exercises, and we have a new output feature class. This is called here nests f underscore buffer, which is located in a geodatabase I haven't used before, so I have to check that. Check this again. We uh, need to use a geodatabase from chapter 12. Go to data. There's a Tungus MDB, and we will say nests nests f one nests f buffer. You can see here that there is already a polygonal feature available in the data. This has been to the upcoming uh, upcoming exercises, so we will save that and we will create a buffer zone of about 800 meters around each of these nests. You can also specify a field. We will do that later on with the streams, um, but uh, as you can see you can specify a field which gives you the distance and so the um, buffer can be very uh, very specific around your features. What else is uh, to be chosen? Uh, there's a dissolve type, so if there's some, o or if there will be uh, some overlapping around these um, or in these polygonal features or in these rings we will create, you can decide whether uh, um, they should be dissolved, like all, or none, like they should not be dissolved. You can see uh, on each of these uh, elements here some kind of tool uh, help. There's also the tool help, which is um, the entire help function here. So, um, well, there it is. So you can s easily see what the result will look like uh, if you would uh, dissolve types or or none or something like else regarding the input. So this is it, so we'll just press OK. The function is executed. Now we'll have to s click up to the results of the geoprocessing. It's still working, so it needs some time. And I think we are nearly finished here. There it is, and there's our output feature. We will add this to the display. And as you can see here, there should be only two polygonal features. No, there's just one polygonal features, which is quite fine for the moment. So, this is 
it. These areas are prohibited for cutting trees. What else will we do now? We will concentrate on the streams and we will still use the buffer tool for that. Input features now is streams F. The output needs to be adjusted as well. So streams F underscore buffer. Oh, I haven't used the underscore. Use this, and we will use a field which is called distance. And due to the fact that uh, this is a polyline feature, you can decide whether uh, there should be a, a full range around the polyline, like on the end of the polyline. There's a vertex, and you can create a half circle around the vertex, or you can decide whether it sh there should be just a half circle on the left side, the right side, or on outside only. So, um, this is it as well. Oh no, the side type was for the sides of the poly polyline. The end type was for the for this vertex at the ends. And there's still the dissolve function. We won't use any dissolvation. Is it the right word? Dissolve in the moment. So, just press OK. still working and we will add this to display as well and as you can see here depending on the fish type there are um, differences so I will choose that I would like to create on uh, I would like to choose only no this was wrong streams buffer so now I can select only these streams as you can see here so I can create a rectangle and nothing will be selected now I have selected this one and would like to see the attributes of for that so one of out of one out of 358 is selected has spawning yes so the buffer distance is 100 and in this one, a spawning no, so the buffer distance is 50. So, this is it for the moment. Um, thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye. I hope that's it for the exercise. Yes, it is. So, stay tuned for next exercise 12B. See you later. Bye.